now on video three we are going to generate we are going to do do an sdk push an sdk push this is when a customer request payment on your online website you can get an sdk push so you can only enter his or her in person number to complete a transaction so here i've already done the code so that we can save time so let us first separate this code with comments so this one here let me first come here down mm, the main function that is used to generate access token which we did on the previous video so let me this is access token access token function then here this is where uh, this is the access token route something like route yeah access token route so here this is the sdk the mpesa sdk let me write mpesa mpesa sdk push uh, route so this is what we are going when you come here to our app this is where we will get the we'll just write here the routers sdk push so that we can trigger the sdk request so let me come here and explain this code so you see this get access token this is the function that we created so that we can access it in each and every request that we will do so here this is where you uh, you put it so here's the access token then you get the access token which we are going to use it on the request the impressor sdk push request so here it's the url so here we need to fill some few details like here this is the pay bill and this is what is this this random generated number this is the it's called a passkey a passkey it's provided here so let us come here to our to the mpesa daraja documentation here when you click apis then you come here to mpesa express this is what we are building this is also known as the sdk push so come here click stimulate then when you click stimulator let me click here then when you come here test credential so this is the credential that you're going to use so when you scroll down here you will get the passkey this is where you will get the passkey so that you can replace it here then here this is the uh short code or or a short code or a till not not a till a till doesn't uh, mean it's a business short code your business short, short code so you can use this which safaricom has already pre has already given us this one which you place it here then here when you come here the method that you use to request this tk it's a post method then here it's where you are we'll add out which will access the access token that's why that's this is the point which i keep on explaining to people you need an access token in order to carry an um, any request in mpesa that are jpi so here this is where we did the, we, we use this uh, an encryption myth we encrypted the the business short code the timestamp and the passcode so that we can get the password then this is the timestamp the timestamp here mm, that's why we are we use this dependency called moment so that we can get the timestamp uh, using this this format this is the format that is required in order to do any sdk push any any sdk request so here when you come here to the business short code remember the business short code we accessed it here this one take it then uh, paste it here then come here this is the timestamp uh, the transaction type which is customer pay bill online then the amount let me please may let me add one uh, one shilling then here you can replace it with the mpesa short code then this is your callback this is where you will receive each and every successful transaction you will get all the information in form of a json response so this is where you can access it then you can store it in your database then uh, account references account reference this is the account number or you can generate it random let me used use it as umeskia p 
okay then let me come here transaction description uh, let me say yeah, let me add it as test yeah let me say state it as m pesa the raja raja api sdk sdk push test now here we have already filled each and every information that is required to Nah, not each and every detail that we need in order to carry an SDK push request. So here, when we, when it will be successful, uh, when there is an error, it will console an error to our application which is running. This is the live uh, live debugging mode of um, our application. So when you come here, when you have a successful response, we will get this request successfully done and please enter and pass up to complete the transaction so now let us go to our to our browser so that we can test if it is successfully done so let us take this and then come here this is where we did then replace it release the access token url with the sdk push url so let us carry out it and see if it is done so here we have getting a successful response which is this so you can see here in our application no let's in our application mm, i've been getting the application here uh, we have getting a successful mpesa sdk push so you can see here do you want to pay to the raj api uh, the raj api one shilling to the raj api so let me enter my mpesa pin so that we can get so we have already gotten a successful mpesa sdk push so this video we're going to stop it then we continue with the next mpesa api request